Hi once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa and in this video I'm going to be discussing high calcium hardness in your swimming pool and how to, to remedy that. Uh, many people have high calcium hardness. Uh, there's a few reasons why they do. Uh, one of the main reasons is simply the fill water. The fill water is, is going to be hard, you know, around um, you know, 2, 250, even 300 in some parts of the country. Um, also overuse of, of calcium hypochlorite, which is a granular chlorine. Um, you know, the word is right in there, calcium, you're adding calcium to the water, that can also increase um, your calcium hardness. Also, overuse of calcium chloride, which um, is a water hardening agent as well. Now, unfortunately, there's really no chemical and no easy way and convenient way to reduce the water hardness. Um, if you live in part of the country that already has hard water, my suggestion is do not use calcium hypochlorite, uh, which is the granular form of chlorine. Use sodium hypochlorite, which is a liquid. Also, don't mix up calcium hypochlorite with calcium chloride. All right, if you go to the pool store and you say, you know, I'm going to grab calcium chloride and you think it's calcium hypochlorite, you add it to the pool and, you know, you're going to cause all kinds of problems. Uh, problems associated with high uh, uh, or hard water will include that nice little ring around the water line. Um, which is an absolute joy to remove. I've done many, many pools uh, that have had that problem in Arizona. You know, laying on my stomach with my chisel and my pumice stone. This is in the Arizona sun, you know, 112, 115 degrees going around, you know, and chiseling away the water line, you know, and, and, and telling the people stop using calcium hypochlorite because normally they, they use calcium hypochlorite. Um, uh, many pools do in Arizona, and I just tell them, don't use that. Go to liquid chlorine. Don't ever use calcium hypochlorite when you already have high, the water is already hard. Um, other problems can, in, can include, if you have a heater, uh, it can clog up your heater as well. It can calcify. If you have a salt pool, um, the chances are, you know, you, you, you may run into a problem where, where the cell, the, the inside of the cell calcifies. So you really need to watch out for high water hardness. Um, the only, really the only way to, to remedy this is to do a partial full drain and refill or you can have a water delivery truck come in and deliver pool water to you. It's already balanced out so it should be ready to go. Uh, so that's kind of a synopsis of calcium hardness, um, high hardness. Now the range is 150 to 250. <clears throat> so I'm, I like to define what I'm saying. What do you mean by high? Well, once you start getting 250 and above, uh, especially if you have heaters, uh, pool heaters, or if you have a, a chlorine generator, you know, you get three, three fifty, four hundred. You're you're really asking for problems. So it's very important to keep that hardness level in check. Try to as best you can for a plaster pool, one fifty to two fifty fiberglass, and um, uh, vinyl pools. You know, you can keep it around fifty to eighty, something like that. You know, maybe a hundred if you get bored. You know, throw some calcium chloride in there. So you'll be fine. So I uh, hope I cleared up some misconceptions and giving you some good information. Uh, check out the description box that has the links in there to my website, Clean Pool and Spa. So please subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. So I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And as always, stay safe and happy swimming. Bye.